All right, what's going on, you guys? Brian here, and this is my WWE Royal Rumble 2020 recap uh, for tonight's event. Uh, before I get started, I would like to send my condolences to the families of the people that lost their lives in the helicopter crash that occurred in California earlier today that took the lives of nine people, including legendary NBA star Kobe Bryant and his daughter. So my condolences go out to the families of 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 those that were that were killed in this in that helicopter crash that everybody has been talking about on social media since it broke. Um, of course, Kobe Bryant, legendary NBA star, played for the Lakers. Um, as, that's the only time I remember him being a part of the Lakers. So my my thoughts and prayers are with his his family, um, as it was uh, as he as he was along with his daughter and seven others lost their lives tragically in a helicopter crash earlier today. So my thoughts, my prayers, and my condolences are with the families right now at this at this time um, getting into the Royal Rumble recap uh, tonight for tonight's event uh, a lot to talk about uh, I'm gonna get right into the quick I'm gonna give make it real quick on the kickoff show we had it was Sheamus defeating Shorty G um, as well as Andrade defeating Humberto Carrillo to retain the United States Championship. Then on the main show, it started out with Roman Reigns versus Baron Corbin in a False Count Anywhere match. This one went into the crowd, into the outfield of Minute Maid Park. It would end up on the dugout, on top of the dugout of of you know of the stadium where the where the where the uh, Houston Astros usually are in the dugout at they would end up on top and Roman Reigns would pick up the win with a spear on top of the dugout of uh, and defeating King Corbin uh, it also saw some involvement from Robert Roode this matchup also saw involvement from Robert Roode, Dolph Ziggler, and the Usos. But Roman Reigns was victorious in the end of this one. Then we had the Women's Royal Rumble match. This one featured uh, a, lot, a, a lot of NXT women, a lot of women from Raw and SmackDown. Uh, Beth Phoenix was in it. It came down, it was, and in the end, it was the queen, Charlotte Flair, uh, coming out on top, eliminating Beth Phoenix. After Beth eliminated Shayna Baszler, or it might have been vice versa, I don't remember exactly, but Charlotte Flair going to, is going to be going, has her first, first class ticket to WrestleMania, and now she will be able to choose which champion she wants to go? Uh, she wants to challenge. Um, so, speaking of the women's championships, uh, Bailey retained her SmackDown Women's Championship over uh, Lacey Evans in what was a decent match, an okay match for those of you that maybe cared for it. Bailey picked up the win in that one. The Fiend. Is still the Universal Champion. He defeated Daniel Bryan in a strap match. Daniel Bryan took a beating in this one and wound up losing any, anyway. Even though he made a comeback a couple of times, it was still not enough. Then we had Becky Lynch defeating Asuka, so finally avenging that loss from last year's Royal Rumble as Becky Lynch would retain her Raw Women's title. And that brings us to the men's Royal Rumble match that saw 
two surprises or three surprise entries, one being Matt Riddle, one being MVP, and one being the return of the Rated R Superstar Edge. Of course, Brock Lesnar entered in at number one. He would wind up tying the record with Braun Strowman at 13 eliminations before being eliminated by, with the help of Ricochet and a low blow, and then being eliminated by Drew McIntyre after McIntyre hit the Claymore kick and that knocked out Brock Lesnar out of the ring, over the top rope, and onto the floor. In the end, uh, Matt, it would come down to Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre as the final two. And McIntyre would wind up hitting the Claymore kick and wound up tossing Roman Reigns out of the over the top rope and onto the floor, thus winning the 2020 Men's Royal Rumble match. And now he will go on to WrestleMania to challenge in the main event. And from the looks of things, it might be where it's going to be Drew McIntyre is going to want to go for the WWE Championship against Brock Lesnar because after he eliminated him, he was like looking down at him, kept looking down at him and, you know, saying, you know, I'm look at me. So I, that could be the road that they go down, McIntyre versus Lesnar for the WWE Championship. And that would be a match I would, I would really like to see. So that pretty much covers everything. I'm not going to get into a long video here. Uh, just going to give a just gave a quick recap of what happened at the Royal Rumble. Championships were retained. Uh, two people uh, punched their ticket to WrestleMania, and that was pretty much it. So overall, my overall thought on the show was it was okay. It was like I said, it was okay. I was I was glad to see Edge coming back, even though they had been there had been speculation uh, leading up to this that he would come back and make a return in the Rumble match. So it was really good to see him come back. Um, and apparently, La apparently Lashley and Rusev got into a brawl when they arrived at the arena earlier, and they were out. Even though they were supposed to be, they were supposed to be in it. Then, a, and also apparently there was a backstage some kind of altercation between Matt Riddle and Brock Lesnar. That was another news thing that that was talked about as well, not on the show, but on a, a couple of different sites that I go on. So uh, that was pretty much it for that. So yeah, pretty much I thought the Royal Rumble. Event was okay. Really nothing really spectacular. So with that being said, if you guys watched tonight's Royal Rumble event, let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments below. Like I said, I didn't really find it all that great. I was glad that McIntyre won, finally getting his opportunity. But that was probably the only thing that I was really, I was really excited about. So everything else was just like, okay. So pretty much that's all I have to say about the Royal Rumble event tonight. Um, as always, this has been my Royal Rumble 2020 recap. As always, I am Brian, and thank you for watching.